This is Red Beard, and on this adventure, I review my trip to the Smoky Mountains with my dad and uncles. Yeah, that speed limit's 40. We're doing 60. Very nice of him. Initially, the uh, Great Smoky Mountains trip uh, in the fall was going to be an uh, Ozark trip in the spring. We we're scheduled to do the Ozark trip in May of 19. Uh, but I had some job issues, uh, one or two models changed jobs as well. Uh, so then we, we pushed it out and said, well, we'll go in the fall. And then the fall got closed, and my other uncle had a, a job change. Like, they don't want to take that much time off. So once my uncle had his job change, uh, we decided to make it a weekend trip. And Ozarks is a little far for a quick weekend trip. So we just turned it into a Smoky Mountain trip. My dad and uncle, they uh, they took off uh, Friday from work. Uh, my other uncle, uh, it looked like he wasn't going to be able to make it. Uh, he had a job change and he had stuff going on in the house and all this stuff was going on. Um, but uh, we got a few miles down the road. I think about the time we met up in Mento in Alabama, uh, he gave us a call and said he could make it. Uh, so he was able to join us. But he didn't join us until uh, early morning Saturday. But on Friday, I worked for a few hours, and then I headed to Mentone, Alabama, where I met up with them. Uh, we had lunch there, Wildflower Cafe. I think I mentioned that in my other video. Uh, from there, we rode over to taking the back roads uh, to Dalton, Georgia. Went down this one little uh, nice little twisty switchback road. Uh, I forget the name of it, something Gap. Uh, from there, we to Dalton, Georgia, and then Dalton, Ocoee. Ocoee to Teleco Plains. Teleco Plains went across the... Uh, Terrahalla Skyway, a uh, beautiful road, enjoyed that quite a bit. Uh, I'll have another video kind of reviewing that road. But uh, from the Terrahalla Highway, uh, we made it through Robbinsville up to Fontana Dam, uh, on Pon <coughs> up to Fontana Dam Village. Uh, we ate at the grill. And I want to have a separate video for the grill as well. Um, that was an experience. Uh, we were there. I've been there before with my other uncle. Uh, my dad and, and uh, the youngest of the three uh, hadn't been there before. So, um, yeah, that's a different experience. Uh, so we got up the next morning, uh, went to Dill's Gap, did a little shopping. Yeah, I rode Tell of the Dragon. Uh, we went over to uh, Maryville. I uh, rode from Maryville, hit the... Uh, uh, Parkway that way, over to Cherokee, Cherokee down to Franklin, and ate at an amazing restaurant in Franklin, Rock and Rolly Polies Restaurant, I think it's called. I'll have a separate review for that. That was an amazing experience. Uh, the pecan pie was excellent. Uh, the next day, though, we uh, we got up and, and uh, went over to Dill's Gap, uh, bought last uh, last few little items we wanted, and uh, and then made our way back to the. Uh, Chirahala Skyway, and uh, right after that, we departed. I went south, they went north, and I took uh, took the long way home and hit Highway 60. It was a, it was a good ride. Uh, I got behind some traffic, and uh, it was evidently a bicycle race. I got behind or in the middle of all that. Uh, all in all, it was a, it was a great experience. Uh, I had fun with my my uh, family riding the Dragon and uh, the other roads up there, uh, Chirahala Highway Skyway. Uh, yeah, look forward to next year. Uh, we're not sure exactly what we're doing. Uh, we're leaning toward Ozarks, uh, but in a sense, we've tried to do that twice. It hasn't happened, so we will see if we end up doing that. This is Redbeard. Until my next adventure, see you on the road.